Okay. Uh, we're making scalloped potatoes today. I don't know what scalloped means. Uh, also, I did some of the potatoes already. Oh, I didn't realize. I can't really brush. Alright, I'm gonna... It's a lot easier before. Uh, this is a waste of time. You don't really do anything either. I mean, I get the potatoes come out of the ground all covered in dirt. Oh, I got some this time. But it just doesn't seem like brushing does a whole lot. Here, I'm going to have to get a tripod. Oh, we left the coffee machine on. Good thing I'm here cooking. Okay. Yeah, this one actually was kind of gross. Good thing. You never know. Sometimes you get a potato with some dirt stuck on it. But this one's probably fine. It's textured, though. It feels like a pumpkin, as you can see. Got a pumpkin like. It's, it's October, so that's very appropriate. Alright, great. Now I just have to cut them. I always dry your hands before handling a camera. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this one's got a little knob at the end. I don't know why some potatoes have it, but others don't. You can't see what I'm doing right now, but I'm cutting it off. Alright. Oh, I was... Okay, I'm gonna get a tripod again. Because... You have to, when you're cutting a potato, you have to hold it or else you can't cut it. It's not like onions where you can just hack at it and it does okay. These are supposed to be thin, thinly sliced. Um, I read on a different recipe, not the one I ended up using, it suggested paper thin, which I thought was kind of presumptuous to imagine that that's even possible. Um, <laughs> You see, these are, I don't know what thickness I would, ooh, jeez, that was close. Um, what thickness I would call them, maybe. Hmm. Oh, another thing to do is when it's starting to get tough to do, you just turn it around. And start cutting from the other end. Maybe they're like orange peel thickness. Some of them are thicker, though. And the last cut is always tough, so you gotta be very careful. Go. Okay. Alright, so the camera <laughs> is probably gonna be having a bad day. Although I've noticed that in some of the videos it'll cut out really quickly in the beginning, and then it'll be fine at the end. But I'm not so hopeful. This is the same memory card I used for, um,. The cornbread one, which I think is in 11 parts right now. Um, so, this is probably going to be in a lot of parts, too. This is going to be a long recipe. The prep time on the, the website said zero minutes, but I think someone just forgot to enter it, because uh, that's impossible. Okay. Almost done with the, the drudgery. This is the unskilled labor. Although, really, this requires some skill. It's difficult relatively unskilled, I guess. Oops. Um, I got this wet. <laughs> okay. What I'm supposed to do is put potatoes along the bottom. I assume that this would be big enough, but this is actually a lot of potatoes. Um, it's supposed to serve, I think, six to eight people. Um, of course, there's only going to be two people eating it. So, <laughs> that's excessive, but... We have a lot of potatoes, and we wanted to use the milk, so I didn't want to scale the recipe down too far. So it might just overflow a little. As long as I don't, like, jiggle it when I'm holding it, it should be okay. Okay, that's about a third. Uh, Alright, now you have to do the thing with the flour. Oh, and because Ramah's going to be eating this, I have to do this in a special way. <laughs> flaxseed flour. I have to designate to where... I was gonna, I was planning on splitting this in half and doing half gluten-free, half regular flour. That's not gonna work, it's too small. So we're just gonna do the whole thing gluten-free. Um, okay, I gotta mix this somewhere. And then, what am I doing? Two tablespoons of flour. Just 
some kind of strange flower, though. It's a different texture than your standard uh, glutinous flower. I don't know if that's going to affect my meal. Um, pepper, pepper, um, I have to grind it. You can't really do this one-handed. Well, you can, but it just takes a long time. Alright, um, let's use the flowers, a tripod. The flower is good to just go real fast because it's annoying as you stand here. This is not a fun thing to do. Also, I don't know if my back and forth technique is standard, but it's a lot better than just turning it. I mean, like this. It's slower. Alright, now we need... Ah, uh, you don't need to measure salt for this. It doesn't matter how much salt you use, you always put more on later. Alright. This has to be mixed. Okay, and now... Now you just put... Uh, so yeah, we're just putting some of this along. I don't know exactly what this is supposed to do to the potatoes. It's a kind of minimal recipe. The recipes I choose are usually minimal, so I don't have to go to the store. <laughs> um, I had to mix recipes that asked for um, for thick cream. Oh yeah, I have to... I don't know what scalded milk is. I'm gonna have to Google that, actually. Um, you could, of course, end the video for that, but this is part of the cooking. Um, so, let's see, you can, this is, this is as valid as any other, uh, thing that I'm doing. So anyway, here's my computer. It's a bit slow because it was asleep, and it, it's an old computer, so it takes a while to wake up. I think old people do too, which is why I was... Um, emphasizing the old aspect. <laughs> I don't know. My grandma's gonna come soon. And we'll see how long it takes for her to get up. I don't know if I'll be able to do cooking videos of her around. Although one of my earliest ones, you see her walking um, out the door. Or actually, she's already out the door. But actually, she goes to the store and buys all sorts of stuff, so that could usher in a new, exciting bunch of cooking videos. <laughs> um, there's other stuff to look at, I guess. I'm trying to get the dates for all the songs on this compilation. The Dead Sea are very good. Um, and here's what I'm going to listen to next. Uh, but I'm not up to that yet. Usually if it's going to take this long, it just gets frozen, so I know it's not going to work. Oh, here we go. Um, here we go. WikiHow is usually a good source <laughs> for uh, the simple questions in life. Still don't really understand it. Like the microwave chopstick. We don't have one of those, so we're gonna have to just not superheat it, I guess. Three to four minutes. Wow. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess. You know what, I think I'm just going to do this. The microwave sounds dangerous. Hmm. I think I know what I'm doing now. Um, but that's, I think, the last thing you do. Yeah, the milk is last, so... It's just time for another layer of potatoes.
this is not going to fit. The two thirds of it is going to fit, but the extra third is going to be floating on the top. Um, oh, I didn't, I didn't grease the pan. <laughs> um, well, I don't know. You're gonna put like milk in it, so it's probably it'll be okay. All right, let's put more in this. It seems like rather little flavoring for a, a whole lot of potatoes. You put cheese on it later, but still, um, <laughs> mostly potatoes. I'll have to add something to it. I don't know what. But this is very plain. I didn't really think about that when I was choosing the recipe. I was just happy I found something I could make for the advanced chefs of the world. <laughs> it's probably not the, the usual procedure. Um, I don't know, it had, it had a 4.1, I think, on about.com. <laughs> which, which is good enough for me. Um, I don't know. It, it'll be okay. I can always just put, like, you know, one of my hot sauces on it if it's too dull. I don't know how the milk is going to fit, actually. I didn't think about that. Okay, I'm going to start the milk now. Um, here it is. Two cups. Yeah, I don't know how two cups is going to fit in there. Oh, we have to use this milk. Okay. Where's my ramen pot? Here we go. I guess no music is going to be default because it's just easier to, to not have to worry that I'm not listening enough. And I can, I can use my soft spoken voice, which is the one I prefer to use. Okay, so I have to be stirring this a lot. I get a good chance to use one of these wooden guys. Okay, now while well, I'm waiting. Oh. Hmm. Try not to spill stuff on the counter. But if you do, it's not a big deal. You just pick it back up. It's just a bit annoying to get it all over your fingers. Uh, okay. I'm gonna put the top on it for now. And put this back. Oh yeah, there's another strange part of this recipe. You're supposed to dot with butter. I don't know what that means. It, it says you're supposed to use two tablespoons, or three tablespoons of butter. Which seems too much for just dotting. Can I... I don't know. They're dots of butter, I guess. Spoon sucks. <laughs> it, it's too shallow. Everything just gets stuck in it. Or actually, it should be the opposite. A shallow spoon should be easier to use. Um, I guess this is what dotting is. If it's not, it doesn't really matter. It's just butter. You don't need to measure it if you're dotting, because dotting is an inherently imprecise thing to do. Where's butter supposed to go? I guess it's meant to melt, because otherwise only the top gets butter. It was specifically not included in the the pepper and flour stage. So it's only supposed to be on the top, so it must just be expected to run in. Because otherwise it's a bit excessive to cover the top layer with three tablespoons of butter. I don't know when you know when to stop, though. I, don't know, I guess when I get worried about the milk. I don't want it to go too low on the butter, though. Because, of course, there's not a whole lot going on in here. Okay. 
see how the milk's doing. The WikiHow article <laughs> seemed pretty serious about stirring and not burning the milk and not messing up the proteins. Um, I don't know, I've never done this before, so I don't know what you're supposed to be doing. Uh, after that, oh, you're supposed to bake it covered, there's an issue. There's no way this will fit. Oh, the butter will get all over it. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess it will. Butter is just troublesome. That's just how it's going to be. Uh, I guess now we've got enough time to, uh, to fill up a water bottle. Uh, I haven't done that in a few of the videos because it's just been too hectic. But this is a rather calm video. I was expecting this one to be like an epic, but it's really simple. It's you just cut the potatoes and put them in there. There's, there's very little to actually do. This is a kind of disappointing recipe. I was expecting it to be not, not as crazy as the cornbread one, but uh, it's a bit dull. I don't know, if I was like a, a real chef, I could improvise something. Um, but the thing's already full, it's not a lot I can do. Okay, let's check on this milk. It's got some impurities in it now, I don't know how that happened. It seems pretty hot. And I guess right after I pour it in, what I should do is make a little gap so the milk can go in, so it doesn't just hit the top and, and fall on the floor and scold me. Um, yeah, I'll have to go into this middle area. Alright. I don't know, that's not part of the recipe, but I think that's important. Okay. Oh, I have to empty the dishwasher. Um, I don't know when that one skipped out, but there hasn't been a whole lot going on, so it's okay. I'm just talking about emptying the dishwasher, and in my lackadaisical mood, I let this get too full. One of the highlights of these videos is seeing my neck beard come sweeping in <laughs> into the frame. Um, I haven't watched any classic horror movies to know, to make like a swooping into the frame like, you know, some character who does that, but I'm sure, I'm sure if, if you watch those movies you could make a pretty apt comparison or, or whatever. Uh, oh yeah, so at one point I'm going to make guacamole, I don't think I've filmed that yet, because it's too simple, you just cut up the avocado, and then you add the salsa. Uh, it's not worth filming. With avocados, I tend to wait for them to get too ripe. Make it later today, they're getting there. Uh, this milk, though, I don't know how long it's supposed to take. I guess if it's three to four minutes in the microwave, it's going to be even longer in here. Uh, see, I have a real pressure to keep the video interesting, <laughs> so I don't want to just clean up. You can see what the cat's up to. No, he doesn't want to grim. There we go. I don't know. Usually, you, I can... I mean, the thing to do is to show, like, a thing around the house. Like the plants that have to be watered. These plants are getting pretty big. This one's going to be bigger than the one in my room at some point. It grows a lot faster. Um, yeah, it's odd without music and without anything hectic going on. Oh, that's not quite right. Um, <laughs> because these quiet periods, you could just 
hang out before, but now it's dang milk scalding. I wish you didn't have to scald the milk. It just seems like an extra step. I don't know how I'm going to grip this, actually, if it's going to be full of milk. Oh gosh, I don't want to have to carry this around. I think what I'll have to do is have this open, put this on the rack, and then pour the milk in. Oh, this is going to be really tough. Actually, I should set up a tripod ahead of time. Let's see how this looks. Okay. That should, that should be good. All right. I don't know what it is about scolded milk that's so important. Uh, here, I can put some more butter in because I guess I didn't really put enough. The butter is just going to be dominated by all the milk though. It's really, um, oh, you know what I can do? Since I've got all this time, do what I did a while ago. I can play with the bouncy ball. I hope we still have one. They have a tendency to get lost, even though I don't really use them for much. And I've been very careful about putting them back when I'm done. Oh, here we go. They're just in the back. Got all sorts of junk in here. Now, there are other games besides this one. Okay, I stopped playing with the ball. Um, because we've got bubbles on the edge there. It's according to the recipe. Or not the recipe, the thing. Oh, it gets thicker, that's weird. I guess that's what's supposed to happen. Okay, good, that means it's time to get ready. Um, let's see, we're gonna lose a lot of oven heat. There's no other way to do this. This has to be... Okay, it's a good thing I didn't cut out when I was actually doing it. And here we go, here comes the procedure. Oh man, I don't know how that's gonna... I'm not gonna be able to like reach in. Maybe I will. Let's see, let's get out of it now. Okay, yeah, I can do this. This camera is really messing with me. But luckily I caught it. And so we can do the actual pouring now. Once the camera working. So a little bit. Oh, I can't quite get it into the center. Into it being high enough. I can't tilt it all the way. Okay, well, we'll go a little to the side then. I just do it slowly, it's not over fun. Only on one side, but this probably isn't the best way to do it. Hopefully, it's flooding the inside appropriately. This is probably the most difficult cooking procedure I've had to do. Okay. All right. I guess that was successful. Okay, so I just have to put it on for. Oh, I didn't cover it. Whoops. This is. This is difficult, that's what I was saying. This is expert level recipes. <laughs> we probably shouldn't put it on the floor, but I did anyway. Okay. <laughs> it's not quite covered, but it'll do. Tough recipes call for tough responses. <laughs> All right, great, now we just have to, okay. It's time to take it out. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the milk. I don't know if it's going to spill, but I'm going to try to take it out. Oh gosh, it's boiling. Oh wow. Oh, okay. Um, So I'm making biscuits at the same time. Hopefully they both fit. Okay, so first of all, we've got just a little problem, which is that I have potatoes stuck under here. Let's just fix that up. 
Oh, that stuck to the top. Wow. How oh, is that supposed to happen? Okay, now. Oh, we're greeted by a kitten. I'll have to be careful now. Um. Because they've been out for a while, but they only just now got brave enough to come downstairs. Okay, so we're going to put cheese on Mama's side because she usually likes cheese. I'm going to put it on later, just do something different. Uh, it doesn't look like enough. I had it pre-cut. I'll just do a little bit more. Um, so the only other part of the recipe now is to put it in uncovered now with the cheese. Oh gosh, these kittens can't be here when I do this. Alright, come on. Oh no, you can't be eating that food either, you kittens, you. You kittens. Oh, I can't put it there. Okay. Now hopefully the kittens won't jump in because I don't want to have to deal with them. Oh man, they're coming right towards it. Okay, I'll just be quick. Okay, things are not harmed. And now you have 15 minutes. And we'll see. Hopefully it's not hot under there. I don't want the... Okay, you just you shouldn't go under there. It's hard to cook. Okay, it should be done. It was a problem though. It overflowed without the top, so I had to put the top back on. Now if you look, you can see there's a whole lot of burnt milk right under it, and it's currently kind of close to overflowing. Which is going to be two hands. Uh, so it smells extremely burnt right now. Yeah, it does not smell good. Um, let's see what this looks like. I don't know why they wanted the top off. I guess so the milk evaporates, but I figure you would want the milk to stay on the potatoes. Um, so here it is. Oh, that's not milk, that's cheese. Um, it's not really something you can just take a bite out of and see if it's any good. Uh, due to the fact that I have a bunch of stuff I'd like to put on it at some point. That might actually be... Oh wow, there's a whole lot of liquid. Yeah, I guess that's all supposed to come out, all that. There's like a good inch of milk at the bottom still. Hmm. Take a little... Well, I mean, it's a cooked potato. I already know what that tastes like. I guess I'll just leave it, um, should be good, it's potatoes, with like, I don't know, they're cooked at least, um, but the, the oven is messed up, so I will have to, you can get a better view of it now, oh god, it's hot, um, yeah, not, not really a success, I guess.